children, where have you seen presentation software being used? Can you name some places? Offices Schools Companies Colleges Media Channels etc. What do you think are the advantages of a presentation? Presentations make it easier to engage your audience. Striking images can hold an audience's attention, while clear bullet points or summary text helps the audience follows the logic of a present. So, today, we will learn about presentation software, and special effects. Class 5 ICT Learning Objectives Built-in Templates Enhancing the look of a presentation Working with slides Inserting objects Running a slideshow Printing a presentation Using built-in templates A template is a predefined presentation to save a lot of time and effort To create a new presentation from a template Click the File menu. Select New. Now click the suggested search to find templates. To find a specific template use the search bar. Select a template from a category. A preview of the template will appear. It will also give additional information on how the template can be used. Click the Create button. A new presentation will appear with the selected template. To change the background of the slide, on the Design tab, in the Customize group, click the Format Background button. Format Background pane appears. In the Format Background pane, choose the desired options. You can even choose to insert a picture as a background. To copy and paste a slide, select the slide you want to copy. On the Home tab, in the Clipboard group, click the Copy command. Or, right-click on the selected slide. Select Copy from the Shortcut menu. In the left pane, click just below a slide or between two slides to choose the location where you want the copy of the slide to appear. Now, from the Home tab, in the Clipboard group, click the Paste command or right-click and choose Paste. The copied slide will appear. Duplicating slide. It is an alternative method to copy and paste. Duplicating slides copies the selected slide and pastes it. To duplicate a slide, select the slide you want to duplicate. Click the New Slide command on the Home tab. Choose Duplicate Selected Slides from the drop down menu. A copy of the selected slide appears underneath the original. To delete a slide, select the slide you want to delete. Press the delete key or backspace key on your keyboard. The slide gets deleted. To move a slide, select the slide you want to move. Drag your mouse to a new location. A horizontal insertion point will mark the location. Release the mouse button. The slide will appear in the new location. Inserting objects. 
To make presentation attractive and interesting, you can insert pictures, clip art, shapes, smart art, or tables. Inserting online pictures. With clip art, you can search or upload clip art that is on your computer. If you have internet access you can download clip art from an online library too. To insert pictures online, on the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, click Online Pictures. A dialog box appears. Type the keyword in search and the results will be displayed. Select the picture you want to insert. To insert a picture from a file, on the Insert tab, in the Images group, click Picture. Select the picture you want to insert in your slide. The file you select will be inserted into your presentation. And ready to edit using the Format tab. Inserting shapes, to insert, or make your own shapes and add them to your presentation. On the Insert tab, in the Illustration group, click Shapes. There are a lot of shapes that you can choose from. Select the shape and click the slide. Drag the corners of the shape to resize the shape. The green dot at the top will allow you to rotate your shape. Shape Fill to fill a shape with solid color, gradient, picture, or texture, select the shape. On the Home tab, in the Drawing group, from the Shape Fill drop-down, choose one of the following options. More Fill Colors This option gives more colors to choose. Picture Option inserts a picture to fill the shape. Browse the pictures and insert a picture. Select the picture you want. Gradient. Option provides variations with the color to give it more of marble or shadow look. Texture. Option provides different textures. Shape Outline To put a border on your picture or text box, select the picture or text box. On the Home tab, in the Drawing group, from the Shape Online drop-down, choose one of the following options. More Artly Colors Option gives more colors to choose. Weight Option provides lines with varied thickness. Dashes Option provides a variety of border styles. Arrows Option provide a variety of arrow styles. Shape effects To change the look of your text box, select the picture or text box. On the Home tab In the Drawing group from the Shape Effects drop-down, choose one of the options. Arrange To change the order, position and group objects, select the object. On the Home tab, in the Drawing group, from the Arrange drop-down choose the desired option. The desired object can be positioned in front or back. You can group multiple objects to consider it as one. A smart art is a visual representation of information. The various ways to use the smart art are You can type the main points from a bulleted list into related shapes that do not follow a strict format. 
you can color for impact and clarity. Or, illustrate a graphical timeline. Or show a process, using connected shapes, and arrows to make sequence clear. There are nine categories of smart art. All List Process Cycle Hierarchy Relationship Matrix Pyramid And Pictures Each category has several designs to choose from. To insert a smart art, on the Insert tab, in the Illustration group, click Smart Art. Choose a Smart Art graphic dialog box appears. Select a graphic of your choice. For example, select an option from the left pane under all. In each box, you see text, written. Click it to type. To insert a table, open a presentation, click where you want the table to be inserted. On the Insert tab, in the Tables group, from the Table drop-down, choose an option. Another tab is inserted to edit the table. In the Table Tools tab, you can change the color. Add shading. Borders. Font style. And so on. This tab will only be available when you have selected the table. You can click anywhere else on your presentation to deselect the table. And return to the default tabs of PowerPoint 2013. Running a slideshow. Once your presentation is ready, you can view it full screen. To run a slideshow, in the Slideshow tab, in the Start Slideshow group, Click from beginning. It will start the slideshow with the first slide. You can also start the slideshow from the current slide. By clicking from current slide, in the start slideshow group. Printing a presentation. To print a presentation, click the file menu. From the drop down list, Select Print. The Print Options appears on the right pane. Under the Copies area, specify the number of copies. Under Settings, you may choose either of the options. Print All Slides will print the entire presentation. You may also opt to print only the current slide. In the full page slides, choose print layout, or the handouts options. If you select handouts, you need to select the number of slides to be printed per page on the print order. Now, click print. Recap To make the presentation attractive and interesting, you can insert pictures, clip art, shapes, smart art, or tables. To insert a picture from file, on the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, click Picture. To insert or make your own shapes, on the Insert tab, in the Illustrations group, click Shapes. You can fill a shape with solid color, gradient, picture or texture. You can change the outline of the shape. A smart art graphic is a visual representation of information. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel, and do not forget, to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.